Okay, I'm going to try to do a video here of how to feed a newborn kitten that's not strong enough to suckle. So, I have a Jeffers 3 milliliter syringe and I drew it up to about 4 cc's almost. And then I took a um, butterfly child's uh, IV needle insertion and cut off the needle and that tubing is just about perfect size for a newborn kitten and then you had the IV port here you just take off the cap to that and at this end you cut off the needle and then you take your syringe and attach it and you want to tap out any air in the syringe And then I'm going to take a cup here and run the air and fluid through the tubing. So all the air's out and it's through the tubing. And then I want to lubricate the tubing just a little bit so I don't irritate their mouth, throat, and stomach area. So I'm going to take what's called some nasal gel. You can buy this at Walgreens or CVS. It's for dry nasal passages. And I just take a little bit and put it on there so you can see the goo at the end. And it's basically just saline water with a gel. So you just put that on there. And then you take your kitten that down just for a minute and you need to have your kitten bundled so that it can't pull out the tube with its um, paws so you just kind of bundle it up and then you take your lubricated lubricated IV butterfly IV tubing and you start putting it in their mouth And help them swallow it. There. There, good go, baby. Yep. And I've already measured from its mouth to its stomach how long it should uh, be and how far it should go in. And you should have your tubing marked. Good job. Good job. You, it's nice to hear him crying so you know it isn't in the lungs. And it's talking. Not very loud, but it's talking. Let's get it up here. No, no, you're not going to pull it out. I know it's not comfortable for him, but when they're not gaining weight and not suckling very good. So I'm inserting a little bit at a time into the stomach area. Mama's coming to check me out, make sure I'm not hurting her kitten. No, Daisy. No, no. One cc is in. I'm going to give it a break. Hold on. Keep it in there. Okay, Daisy, move. Daisy, move back. Good girl. Okay, so. Yeah, it wants to get that paw up there to take it out. So you just got to hold on. And then I'm going to slowly add a little more. Pull it out. And there is a kitten that has been fed two cc's. Let me 
and it's no worse for wear. It's going to make it. It should be suckling real soon. Stronger. We have one more to do yet, so I will demonstrate once more. So I'm going to take my tubing. Again, I'm going to put uh, this nasal gel on the tip of it. So it's lubricated. Can you see that? It's probably hard to see. Well, anyways, come here, little one. Come here. So I'm doing this just for two of them every two hours, and then the other ones, the other two are bottle fed. The one I just did was suckling, but not very strongly, so I'm helping it out. All right, little one, come here. Yeah, put that in your mouth. And you wanna to try to go right center line, not to one side or the other. Help it to swallow it. Okay, we're just about there. Gently inserting it, very slowly and gently. And then once it's inserted to its spot, I'm gonna give it a little bit of the formula. Just a little bit. Okay, we'll wait. I wouldn't like it either, little one. Just hold on. Okay. You gotta grow stronger. Placement of the tubing is very important. You don't wanna put it in their lung and have a aspirate and get pneumonia. There. And there's two. Now I'm going to bottle feed the other two. And this has got to be done every two hours. So they gain weight and get strong enough. And Daisy's milk comes in real good. So that way they can nurse. Isn't it cute? It's worth the trouble. Okay, thanks for watching.